Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. The date is Wednesday, August 24th. We are so pleased to have with us live in the studio, Hockey Dad. How's it going? How's it going? Good. How about you? Very good. Awesome. Excited yeah. to hear you guys play. Uh, yes, you can go into your first song whenever you're ready. All right. Too easy. <laughs> Watching Audio Tree Live, we're here in the studio with Hockey Dad. Real nice job, guys. Thanks very much. Yeah, Cheers you bet. Out. Awesome. Um, I usually make it a point not to ask about band names and stuff because I know it's sort of passe, but <laughs> you are named after a Simpsons reference. So I do want to ask, are you, would you consider yourself huge Simpsons fans or just casual? Uh, huge, yeah. We, we've hosted our own Simpsons trivia sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Where at? Yeah. Just the two of you? Or like yeah, we did yeah. at uh, our manager's bar. We, we hosted it. <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, what was the hardest question that you guys asked? Um, I think I got everyone on like the tiebreaker. It was like, what was the first ever itchy cartoon? And heaps of people thought it was uh, Steamboat Itchy, but, yeah, it, that's, but it wasn't. It's not? No. What is it? It's the itchy uh, mouse in... Manhattan one. It's just the itchy, like, in the, in the oh, 40s or the 20s. Oh, it's just right. him, like, right. yeah. It's just him, like, walking and whistling. That's everyone. right. That's all that, And that's in the same segment, right? Because they're showing kind of a history of itchy yeah. and scratchy. And, of course, everyone rem- remembers Steamboat Itchy because of the... That was the, that it's not. The violent one. <laughs> oh, man. That's pretty good. Yep. Yep. So do you guys keep... <laughs> do you keep up with the show, or are you more of a classic, you know, uh, golden age? I, I feel like, a, like, I feel bad, but I think we are classic guys. Yeah. yeah. Season, you know, up to about PM. nine or ten. That's when it was gold. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, you, now there's no way you watched that live, right? Because you're like a lot younger than me. So, and no. I was five when the yeah. Simpsons came on. So, how did you get into it? Was it like? I think it was just every night at six o'clock. It was on. It was yeah. like the staple. Man, and you just get into it, and it was it was gold. It's funny because obviously you're from Australia. I grew up here, but it was the same time slot. <laughs> it was like every yeah. night on the local cable, yeah. you know, station. Yeah. Six o'clock straight off the news. Yeah. Well, it's, it, I'm glad it. to see the uh, tradition is still alive. Then you know, because I always yeah. wonder that too. You yeah. know, People who are way younger than me, do they still like the same things and all that? So. Not yeah. that you have Who to. Who knows what they're doing these days, but... <laughs> yeah, kids yeah. are crazy, aren't they? <laughs> uh, let's say hear another song, shall we? Yeah, cool. Sick.
You're watching Audio Tree Live. We're here in the studio with Hockey Dad. Uh, the songs you're playing today from your full length album, your first full length album, Baronia. Am I saying that right, by the way? Yeah, yeah. Baronia. Yeah. Spot on. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, and you have the Dreaming EP before that. Now, I yeah. feel like leading up to Baronia's release, I was still reading a lot of interviews that were still talking about Dreaming. Do you feel like by the time that got wide distribution, you were already done with this like new full length thing that was more of your focus? And was that a weird headspace to be in? Um, not particularly. Like, we're pretty stoked that, like, Dreamin' actually got the rounds out mm -hmm. here, even though we didn't release it. So yeah. that, was, that was pretty cool. Like, people still coming out the shows and actually knowing the previous songs and stuff. So I reckon that was pretty cool. Yeah, it didn't really bother us or anything like yeah. that. Yeah, so, so it just made you more excited to get Baronia out into yeah, the... Yeah, I guess yeah. so. Yeah. It, did, did you, um, amongst the two of you, talk about any changes in your sound, sort of where you wanted to go with it, or do you just kind of do it as it comes to you? I don't think we ever, like, actually sat down and talked about what, like, where we wanted to go or anything. No. I think it just happened sort of naturally. If there is any changes, yeah. it just sort of happened naturally Yeah. because of the stuff we were listening to when we were writing it and recording it. And Yeah, there was never, a, like, a sit down and, like, okay, we're going to do this type of album now. It yeah, just, just sort of came. Do it in yeah. a fun fashion as it Yeah, yeah. it just happened. Because a lot of the songs are written, like, a year apart, actually. Mm -hmm. There's a few on there that are written. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, bit, it's so it's weird. It's sort of patchy, but... Yeah. yeah. One song a year. <laughs> it yeah, takes like 10 boy. years to, to make it. Uh, what, what were some of the bands or artists that you were listening to during the making of this? Oh, man. Uh, during the record. I don't know. I can't really remember now. Can't so remember what I did go. yesterday. So. <laughs> <laughs> the life of a tour musician, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> I was listening to... I was listening to a bit of a Twin Peaks, that first record they did. Mm -hmm. That was good. And yeah. I've been listening to them again now for writing the next one, so it's probably going to sound exactly the same. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, have you, guys. <laughs> have, you, uh, have you met them at all? I mean, they're in the area. Uh, you know? We met, I think, Clay is the guitarist. We mm -hmm. met, I met him at South By. Nice. He was wild. Yeah, he's wild. He did, I mean, not to like, not to put him on blast or anything, but did he do anything like super crazy at South by? No, uh, we didn't see him play. We, we were just we like, just, I think we rocked up late and they, they were at the same venue as us. Yeah. And I just went and said hi. Cause yeah. I'm a big fanboy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if they're touring right now or anything, but they're they're probably right down the street. You know, probably. So, yeah, yeah, you yeah. should uh, you should look them up and uh, <laughs> g'day, maybe, g'day. maybe do a split. Maybe do like a future collaboration or something like that. That'd be nice. Yeah. 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 Have you guys done any splits or anything like that? I know you're still really young. No, no we haven't done any sort of collaborations or anything yet. That it would be good, one though. Day. Yeah. If you could pick one, like, access is not an issue, just no matter how famous, who's the person or a band you would love to collaborate uh, with. I would most. go Josh Homme for sure. Nice. Yeah. Mm. Pennywise. Pennywise, yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. I think you could get, you can maybe make both of those happen down the maybe. line. Yeah. one day. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, you got a lot of time still. Uh, let's hear this third song then. All right. Sick. Thanks for hard to fuck it. Is that 
Watching Audio Tree Live, we're in the studio with Hockey Dad. Uh, you guys like to skateboard, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, totally. <laughs> when you're in the states, then do you seek out skate uh, like skate parks, skate spots when you're on your tour? Yeah. I yeah, think if I'd, we have I'd time be, off, it's like the one thing we still try to do. Yeah, I'd be skating right now if we weren't here. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna? So, are you? I don't know if you're in Chicago the rest of the day or not. Now you have to travel, but are you gonna look for anything? You know, while you're here? Yeah, I, we've teed it up with the um, Moy Bien dudes that oh, we're on cool. tour with to actually go like as soon as this finishes. Oh, nice. <laughs> so which which, uh, which park are you guys going to? Do you not know yet? Well, it's been raining, so I don't. I don't know. Just uh, wherever. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, so there's one. Somewhere. There's like there's always one underneath the bridge. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's just try find that. I guess. Are you guys pretty good skaters or? Nah, uh, oh. Billy's all right. I'm not that good, but that's all you right. go all right though, don't you? All right, I get the yeah. job done. Yeah. What, what uh? What's the most complex trick you can do? Like kickflip, 180. Something I don't like know. That? I could I could maybe get a kickflip in like an hour if I kept yeah. trying. Yeah. I skated growing up, and honestly, like I could do an ollie while I was moving, <laughs> and every now and then do a 180, and that was kind of about it. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I can do a manual, but. <laughs> <laughs> do a little yeah, skate up thing. <laughs> what uh, what kind of decks do you guys have on tour? Uh, oh. I didn't bring mine. You brought yours. Yeah, this time. I've just got I got a new Palace deck actually. Oh nice. If I that's a, a plug. I got a, a weekend. <laughs> yeah, we, they're cool. Yeah, yeah from, I got weekend it in, in I got it in L.A. last well the second time we we're here. Do you guys ever yeah. use? I had a toy machine growing up. Is that yeah. still? Yeah, like a yeah, skate yeah still. I've never yeah. had one of those. But. I've never had a toy machine deck though. Yeah, it was like toy yeah. machine, birdhouse, uh, alien yeah. workshop, all that stuff. Yeah. I'm sure it's still around. I haven't skateboarded yeah. in, in so so long. I don't think. Yeah, what, true. What's the uh, out of all the places you've been in the states? Do you find there's a uh, particularly good uh, city for skateboarding? Or L.A. has been fun. Yeah, it makes sense. That was good. Yeah. Yeah, because like there's heaps of street spots, but we haven't really hit that many. Because mm-hmm. like we haven't had that much time. So. LA too. I, I mean, can you go in the canals and everything? Is that like really good for skateboarding? I fully wanted to do that so bad, but I we didn't get a chance. Yeah, so. you don't have a lot of time I mean, when you're in each city either, right? So that yeah. kind of puts a damper on it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Has anyone, either of you or anyone you've toured with, ever gotten hurt skateboarding and it's like put them out of commission for a show or anything like uh, that? No, that's, that's what I'm terrified of. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't happened yet. She'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fine. Yeah. There's um, I was interviewing the Hold Steady a while back, and you know they're all like in their 40s and 50s, and uh, one of them I guess used to be some like championship skater as a kid. Yeah. And he's on tour now, and he was trying to skateboard. His like his agent got really mad at him. He's like, "Dude, if you like, you're older, you know. <laughs> like, if yeah, you hurt probably. yourself, then you know that's uh, that we lose a bunch of money. So yeah, it was yeah. Uh, it was pretty funny. At well, least we're yeah. still kind of young and funny. yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you can <laughs> we'll heal up quick. I suppose I don't know. If yeah. you break your leg, you can do one of those like Dave Grohl thrown kind of things, you know. For yeah. Your, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it would be harder for you, Billy, I guess, for you know, drumming. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> stay safe out there today, is Thanks that what I'm saying? Uh, let's go into another song. All right. So tired.
You're watching Audio Tree Live, and we are here in the studio with Hockey Dad. Uh, just to let you guys know, I have some friends here watching, and a lot of them are big fans of you guys. So they I just, right. yeah, my phone was blowing up with the love Hockey Dad. Been a fan of them since South by Southwest and all that good stuff. Well, Step g'day. Up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, so was your um, your South by Southwest experience, do you feel like that was a huge leap forward for you in terms of popularity and just, you know, playing live in general? It was Pretty crazy just playing to so many people because, yeah. like, I wasn't expecting that many people to actually be at South by. How many sets did you guys play? Who eight? I think yeah. in like three or four days. Uh, yeah, yeah, so it's pretty packed. Yeah, I was there myself, and uh, it was my first experience, and it was it was sort of weird just absorbing everything in general. You know, it's like super yeah. chaotic. Yeah, yeah there's like almost insane. too much going on, really. <laughs> you know, yeah. totally. Was yeah. that the first festival like that you guys had been to? We, uh, we did. We played CMJ the year before in New York, and it's sort of the same thing, but South by is just like a whole oh, other level. Yeah, that was, that was just insane. Yeah. I don't know how so that, that was the first yeah. sort of crazy thing like that. Every sure. band that comes in here and talks about it, it's like they're telling war stories or something, you know? <laughs> it's yeah, like it's I can't really remember. Yeah. yeah, it was, like, it, yeah. Was, uh, it was pretty nuts. Um, something you guys also try and do, you know, throughout the U.S. or wherever is uh, you try to hit up burger spots, correct? So <laughs> what, yeah. what, uh, what's like the favorite, your favorite burger joint you've been to so far in the United States? Um, Where were we the other day? Uh, that like independent burger and shake place. McDonald's? Uh, Where? <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. It's called Fancy Freeze. At Neurolux, which is in, as Boise, hey. Yeah, I think it was called Fancy Freeze. That was, that was good as like a little chain so in sick. Boise. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I didn't. Good. I didn't know there. I've never been to Boise, but yeah. um, I didn't know there were awesome burger joints there. So that's good to know. And then I good. guess In and Out's like the staple. That's you know, always, I've never been good. to In and Out. Like I went to California the first time last year, and I, I, I don't know. I envisioned they would be everywhere, and I couldn't really they're not find one. Really everywhere, yeah. but mm. like they're around, and they're definitely the best. I think. What makes it so good? Do you think? I mean, because it's still fast food, right? It's not like a. It's still like fast food. I, yeah, I don't it's really not. Know why it's better? I, they just no do idea. something with it. I don't know. It's just got the spark. I don't know. It's, got <laughs> yeah. it. it's just got it. Just gives, has that burger spark. What, how, are yeah. the, uh, how are the burgers in Australia versus the ones here? Is there a difference? Terrible, yeah. It's really? way better here. Yeah, what, what's bad about it over there? They don't uh, care. They just can't get the spices. They just can't get it right. They I don't can't. Know. They try, yeah. but can't get it. But the thing is, they don't even try. They don't, don't even think. really try. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> I don't know if there's a it's big enough market for like burgers like that. Yeah. And did you, was that something you didn't notice until you had come over here and then gone back there? And you're like, oh, man, these things suck, like, after that. Yeah, I guess, yeah. like, you always hear about the burgers being better. And then you come over and experience it and you go back. It's it's hard to go back. <laughs> to <train burgers. laughs> it is tough. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at least both places have, you know, huge Simpsons fans, I guess. Yeah, well, that's all right. Yeah. yeah. It's like the common link between them. But, uh, yeah. yeah, sorry, Australia. We got you beat in the burgers department. But, yeah, uh, sure do. Maybe, maybe one day. <laughs> they'll they'll go to the next level. That's uh, it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's hear this last song, shall we? Too uh, easy.
You've been watching Audio Tree Live, and we have had in the studio with us Hockey Dad. Thank you guys so much again for being here. Thanks very much for having us. Cheers. We've had fun. <laughs> yeah, you bet. Um, and if you want to support the band, you can, of course, download or buy their first full-length, Baronia. Bar- now I said it wrong, Baronia. <laughs> uh, or their EP, Dreaming, as well. And you can also download the live stream from today once it goes up. Uh, feel free to reach out to us on social media if you want to get in touch with either us or the band. I mean... Kind of more us, I guess, but you know, <laughs> you, know. you guys need email or something. <laughs> um, we want to thank everyone in the booth, uh, the engineers for making it sound good. We want to thank lights and camera for making us look good. And of course, we want to thank you for watching as always. Until next time, this is Audio Tree. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>